Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Chad bringing y'all another video. Um, this video is going to be because I had a lot of people sending me this on Instagram and I also saw this myself so I was going to get around to recording it. But this has to do with um, an Illinois um, mom had a judge strip custody from her of her son because she did not get the COVID-19 vaccination. Now, just off rip, it's like, what? The judge took custody away from the mom because she did not get vaccinated? Now, I do have the article here, so I'm just going to go through the article and, you know, just read the article. But before we go through with the article, I'm just going to play the clip of what the mom says, all right? He's my whole world. You miss him? <laughs> I miss him more than anything. Rebecca Furlitt has been divorced for seven years and shares custody of her 11-year-old son with her ex-husband, what had been a 50-50 split in parenting time. But on August 10th, in an unrelated child support hearing, Cook County Judge James Shapiro asked Furlitt whether she'd been vaccinated. When she told the judge no because she's had bad reactions to vaccines in the past, Judge Shapiro stripped Furlitt of all of her parenting time until she agrees to get vaccinated. I think it's wrong. It had nothing to do with what we were talking about, and he was placing his his views on me and, and taking my son away from me. Furlitt is now asking the appellate court to stay the judge's order, her attorney saying the judge has overstepped his authority. You have to understand, the father did not even bring this issue before the court. So it's the judge on his own making this decision that you can't see your child until you're vaccinated. We just wanted the mother to pay support. The father's attorney, Jeffrey Leving, says while they were surprised by the order, he believes the judge is making the right call, given the seriousness of the pandemic. And there are children that have died because of COVID. I think every child should be safe. And I agree that the mother should be vaccinated. Leving believes the judge is breaking new ground that could play out in other custody cases as well. No word on when the appellate court will make its decision. At the Daily Center, Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. All right. So you saw that. So you see, you know, she was just going to the regular court hearing through Zoom. Um, she got there. They didn't even discuss anything about this, um, nor did the dad. The judge just came up with this all on his own. He was just, I guess, sitting down like, yeah, I got something for her. Yeah, I got something for her. And then just took away custody, which is crazy. So first, we can't eat in restaurants. You can't go to fitness or indoor entertainment. You can't do anything. You need to show your papers. You can't be outside in Australia. And now they're taking away custody. It's getting a little too far, y'all. It's going a little too far. I don't know what's next. But you also see that, you know, even though the mom said me and the dad never discussed this, nor did we discuss this in court, and the judges did this on their own, you guys saw how the dad's attorney was like, well, I mean, kids are getting COVID and they're dying, so I agree with the judge. And to me, it's like, I don't even think that the attorney agrees with the judge in terms of like, Oh, the kid, you know, their kids die from COVID, that sort of thing. That's what he said. But I think the real thing is he just wants the dad to have full custody. So, of course, they don't use anything they can to try to get that full custody. Now, like they also said, she is appealing um, to another court because this is just like, like everybody's saying. And what I'm thinking, the judge is just overreaching here. Like, who gave him the power and authority to strip custody just because she doesn't have a vaccine that wasn't even discussed like i said he just came up with this all on his own which makes literally no sense but anyways let's go ahead and read the article right so let's see an illinois mother says a cook county judge decided to strip her parental rights over her refusal to get the covid 19 vaccine according to a local news report rebecca furlitt told Fox 32 Chicago, that Cook County Judge James Shapiro will vote all her parenting time with her son until she gets vaccinated. I miss my son more than anything. It's been very difficult. I haven't seen him since August 10th. Now, 
If she hasn't seen her son since August 10th, it is now August 29th. 29th. She said she had 50-50 custody of her son. So that means, I guess, like, one weekend she's with her with the dad, one weekend with the mom, you feel me? Now that's none. And it's been since August 10th. And it's August 29th now. And this article came out August 28th. So that's crazy. So a spokesperson for Shapiro um, told Fox 32 that the judge could not comment on the ruling um, due to the ongoing nature of the case. Furlitt, who had reportedly been divorced for seven years and shares custody of her son with her ex-husband, says she does not want to get the vaccine due to previous adverse reactions to vaccines. Now, when I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, she's been without her son for 19 days. Now, the average person who you know, maybe indoctrinated or just feeling the pressures would have caved in, got the vax, and maybe she would have been able to see her son yet. I'm kind of proud of her for standing her ground or her beliefs, you know, of not getting the vaccine due to her reasoning, um, the adverse effects. Now, that's one thing about the vaccines that they have not told anybody or what are the adverse effects of, you know, the vax. They'll tell you, oh, it lessens symptoms. You won't go to the hospital. It does this. It does that. But there's no one saying, okay, guys, you know, we've explained all that. But there are some adverse reactions like, you know, the little heart condition. I think heart, mouth, mouth, mouth something. I forgot what they called it. Um, people also get in blood clots. People also having strokes. So there are adverse reactions. But who's talking about them? And they're like, well, the adverse reactions are such a little category of people that it's no reason to discuss it but it's like it's something to discuss you feel me so i definitely do understand what she's talking about when she says you know adverse reactions so continue with the article he was placing he was placing his views on me and taking my son away from me furlitt said to shapiro her attorney and it fernals believes the judge overstepped his bounds which he is the trial court clearly exceeded its authority in so sponte suspending the mother's parenting time when the issue before the court was child support. So they only went to court for child support and he ended up turning that into we're taking custody away because you didn't get vaccinated. Makes no sense. The father did not bring this issue before the court. The mother did not know her parenting time was being discussed when she went to Zoom court on August 10th. The judge deprived her of notice and a full hearing on the issue. The issue is now between the Illinois Appellate Court. So just like, you know, I said earlier, you know, she came to court for a whole different thing and ended up losing custody of her son just because that's what the judge just came up with on his own. The dad didn't recommend it. The dad's attorney didn't recommend it. She didn't bring this forth. No one but the judge on their own time. She added that the father did not even bring this issue before the court. Jeffrey Levin, the attorney representing Furlitt's ex-husband in the custody case, told the outlet that while Shapiro's order came as a surprise, they support the decision. The ex-husband should kind of be, he should be ashamed of himself, really, because it's like, why are you finna support, why are you finna support something so your ex-wife can't get her half custody of the child just because she's not vaccinated? Because... If you didn't originally want this decision from the very beginning, then there's no reason you should be supporting it now because you didn't care before. But now that the judge has done this, now you care. And like I said, this to me just seems like, oh, they just wanted full custody in the beginning. You feel me? So let's keep going. There are children who have died because of COVID. I think every child should be safe. And I get agree that the mother should be vaccinated, Levin said. And that's her attorney. While children have experienced lower COVID-19 infection rates and lower risk of severe virus symptoms in adults, nationwide hospitals are reporting increase in pediatric COVID-19 cases as the Delta variant spreads compared to rates seen during previous surges. Health officials have urged that those who are eligible to get vaccinated to protect others who cannot. Businesses across the country, as well as local governments and schools, have moved to require COVID-19 vaccinations among all employees who do not have a medical exemption or require mask wearing at all times for individuals who do not get the vaccine in an effort to reduce infection rates. Levin told Fox 32 that he believes Shapiro's ruling could play out in other custody cases. Now, I definitely do agree 
um, you know, that this can play out in other cases because depending on how this is ruled, will probably actually rule for a lot of other cases. Now, this, I just think it's a complete overreach. It's like local government just has so much power now. The power where you can take away custody that she's already won in a previous court ruling because of a vaccine? Like, when is, when it, like how does that even, how does that correlate? How does that make sense? Especially if it wasn't discussed. I could see it before this. They were like, yo, you know, we're thinking about maybe getting rid of your custody because you're not vaccinated. You know, we would urge you to get vaccinated or you'll lose custody. And then they go to court about it. And then the court rules or everybody, you know, votes, whatever they have going on in local courts um, and see, you know, if this will stand. But I hope that the appellate Illinois appellate court does throw this out and say this is not this is not mandatory for her to do because it is your personal choice. Now, if they rule that this is not personal choice. America's going down a darker path than we're already headed down. You feel me? Because she should be able to make her decision whether she wants to get vaccinated or not. And let's say she does. Let's say, OK, let's say she catches COVID, right? She tests. She says, I'm COVID positive. Well, she has 50 50 custody with the husband. She can quarantine by herself without her child being in the house with her and just let the child stay with the dad until she's negative. And then she can continue getting back custody again. It's not like once she has COVID, she's sick forever and she can never see her own son again. You feel me? So it's just like, I don't, I don't know how far this control, like at this point, it's not even that COVID or the vaccines are like, yes, they do help people, but it's going past science. Like it's been past science. This is more so on the edge of like, this is political and this is only for control between the mandates, the mandated mask, the vaccines, the lockdowns, the you needed to eat, sleep, travel, go to the grocery store, go to your indoor fitness, indoor entertainment. And now you need a vaccine to be able to keep custody of your children. Like, what if the child had a two-parent household and one parent just decided they didn't want to get vaccinated? But because they're divorced and they have joint custody, now all of a sudden they're just going to take away the custody? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, a lot of people sent me this um, on Instagram and they were like, man, brother, like, like Chad, we in some scary time. And I was like, bro. Like, I honestly agree with you all. Like, this is crazy. I'm reading the headlines and I'm just like, hmm? And then I read the article and I see the video and I'm like, yo, I don't know what this world has going on, man, but we definitely got to stay prayed up. The way this shot is being implemented, you would think this is the mark of the beast, man. But think about it. Like, this is the precursor to the mark because the Antichrist still hasn't been revealed. You feel me? He hasn't done signs and wonders yet. It's none of that. So it's like if they're already talking about taking away custody from parents for not getting the vaccine. Imagine what happens when people don't get the mark. Just think about that. Those who have ears to hear and those who have eyes to see. Bless you because. It's getting crazy out here, man. But yeah, man, this has been your boy, Chad. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment down below what y'all think. I already know 99% of y'all already know what y'all going to be thinking. But leave me down below and let me know what you think anyway. And as always, it's been your boy Chad. I'm out. Peace.